Growing up, art was always a big part of my life. I grew up uh, sketching, drawing, painting. I did theater throughout high school and in college and uh, eventually found my way to photography. I started my Instagram account when it first launched and it was just a tool and an app for me to just kind of put out personal photographs. And over time, I started getting inquiries about shooting for other people or for other projects and wanting me to either work on their visual content for their social media feeds or actually work on different campaigns. And so in 2010, I decided to take a leap of faith and started Canary Gray. I work with different brands on visual content. Uh, I work with different lifestyle brands, work with publications with shooting editorial content, and I work with uh, architectural firms shooting interior and exterior spaces. Yeah, perfect. My aesthetic is more minimal, I would say. I'm attracted to the simple lines and shapes and the composition of an image. You know, when I'm shooting landscapes, I really like looking at it more from an abstract point of view. I love using negative space. There's something about that that highlights the point of view. Yeah, and I'm like it's more neutral than just yeah. having the floor there. Yeah. I really enjoy working with clients in more than just a photographer capacity. I really want to be hands-on and, and work with my clients on their overall art direction and even help style if I need to. I love your face right now. I'll stay right there. I like you looking down. Awesome. Okay, got it. I think with finding photography later in my life it helped me become a stronger photographer and a stronger artist because I had other foundations in art. By then I had honed in on some more technical skills too. Got it. In the past couple years, I've been working on more personal projects and I've wanted to pursue uh, putting out more fine art photography. Uh, it's an evolution that is something that I've always wanted to do as an artist. A couple of the projects that I've been working on are from some of our personal travels. One common thread is nature. In particular, when we were in Norway, we hiked Trolltunga, which was the most incredible and crazy thing I've done ever. <laughs> but I was so inspired by the landscape over there and like not the obvious beauty of the view that you got from the top, but I was really inspired by the geological formations. What excites me the most, I'll be able to tell my own stories. Um, a lot of my work that I've done for other people I'm really proud of, but there was always a little piece of me that was missing in that. And I've really wanted to put out more personal work. And so it's a big leap of faith, like starting Canary Gray, that I'm excited to pursue and, and finally put out, put out my own photography and my own art. <gasps> C is for cat and D is for dinosaur. Since having Odin, it's been easier to say no <laughs> to things. It's really made me realize what matters. I want to take on work that excites me and makes me happy. And there's work that, that does do that. And so saying yes to those is easy, but then saying no to things that just don't make sense or matter or that take time away from him. It's easier to say no to those things. That's impacted me the most, I would say. Mm -hmm.